Hello, my name is David Lankes and I want to welcome you to Conversations, Building a Participatory Librarianship Testbed. This is a new project for us and it grows out of a technology brief we did for ALA's Office for Information Technology Policy on Participatory Networks, uh, the library's conversation. We've gotten a lot of very positive feedback on it and a lot of really interesting ideas that we, as we keep digging into them, keep getting deeper and deeper and deeper. And out of that draft, we said we should continue the conversation and try this stuff hands-on in the form of a test bed. So, here we are building the test bed. Right now, there's not much here, but it's going to be building more and more with your help. So, I recommend coming back more often. Right now, these are just quick introductions. Try a different tab, uh, see what I have to say, and if you're really interested, check out the Learn More tab below. So, what is participatory librarianship? Well, it's founded on a very simple principle which is that knowledge is created through conversation. That if the libraries are in the knowledge business, libraries are in the conversation business. Uh, this isn't just a simple metaphor. This comes from learning theory. This comes from practice. This comes from us seeing what happens. And this very simple idea has really big implications for what we do. It really it shifts the focus of librarianship away from artifacts and books and organizing things to facilitating conversations, to being part of the community, to becoming an inseparable part of the community where what we do is find out what the community is talking about and enrich that conversation. We might enrich it through resources and books, materials and services. We might enrich it by simply providing a space for it to happen in the web and physical places. What we're talking about is adding value, becoming part of the community, informing the community, and helping that community learn and grow knowledge. And they grow knowledge through conversation and we're there to help. We're there to create a rich information environment where they can do it. And so what we're doing through this test bed and these ideas is we're trying to find out what are the aspects of those. How can we get some real examples? What are the first steps, and the next steps, and the last steps so that we can continually push forward the field and the communities that we serve? So what is the testbed? The testbed is to take participatory librarianship as an idea and make it real. Make it real through practice, through software, through policies, through case studies, through tools. Initially, not much here other than these ideas and exploring the ideas. But increasingly, as we build more and more partners and as we add more and more to the site, it can become a place for us to share best practices, share information, share tools, and really push forward the field of librarianship much faster and capturing these conversations of our community. We're going to do this through partners. Obviously, the first partner we have is the American Library Association's Office for Information Technology Policy and the Information Institute of Syracuse. We're the folks who came up with the original technology draft, and we're the ones who see that it's important to continue the conversation. We're seeking out additional partners, hopefully five to eight major case studies that we can look at in very diverse settings, ranging from what, how do these ideas work in a physical space, to how do digital libraries get constructed, to how can we change catalogs, to how can we do scholarly publishing. The idea is to look across the spectrum of library activities and settings and see how these ideas play out, where they have the most gain. Uh, later, as we move past these initial case studies and we have more and more practice, adding partners for continuing education, individuals, libraries, affiliated organizations, to take these ideas and really move it out to serving our patrons and making our users and the patrons as much as possible a part of ourselves so that the boundaries between the library and the partners and the communities they serve virtually disappear. So where's the beef? We're talking about participatory librarianship, in the technology draft we talk about everything from RSS feeds and blogs and wikis, and I don't see them around here. I'm looking and it's not on this web page. So where are they? They're coming. What you're seeing is you're going to see this site built from the ground up. You're going to, we decided rather than coming out with a fancy smancy site, we would do this in a truly participatory way. You're seeing the stub site, you're seeing the early data, we want to get your input, and as we learn what works and what different settings and how they work and how to use them properly, we begin to implement them within the site. So the site is both telling you about the test, but it's also demonstrating it. We're going to start from a relatively static site and begin to add more and more tools as we learn what's worked. But that's only going to work if you help us. That's only going to work if you give us input, if you tell us what works and what doesn't in your own setting. Tell us your own stories, and we can try it. And we may mess some stuff up, but we're going to try it together, and we're going to move this movement forward together. Thank you.